climate change, which has emerged as one of the most important issues facing the global community in the 21st century, poses a serious threat to development and poverty reduction. Adverse effects of climate change are already evident. Natural disasters are more frequent and more devastating, and the people in the poorest, least developed countries most vulnerable. Climate change threatens to undo decades of development efforts and undermine efforts to achieve the Millennium Development Goals. Eight targets agreed to by UN member states to diminish global poverty and achieving by 2015 major advances in health, education, environment and equality. The United Nations Development Program is therefore committed to mobilizing assistance to these least developed countries to help tackle the compounding effect of poverty and climate change whilst delivering triple wins for sustainable development through social, economic and environmental benefits. Addis Ababa, the capital city of Ethiopia, often referred to as the political capital of Africa due to its historical, diplomatic and political significance, is a melting pot of culture and home to some 80 different nationalities and the many cultures and peoples of Ethiopia. Over the next 20 years, Ethiopia will embark on a national action plan that aims to boost the country's development whilst keeping its greenhouse gas emissions to current levels. The climate resilient green economy strategy aims to achieve a new level of green economic growth and tackle the primary causes of climate change and the vulnerability of Ethiopia to its effects. Addis Ababa, like most developing and rapidly growing megacities in Africa, has experienced increasing urbanization with an associated rapid rise in the municipal solid waste produced. At the same time these cities are generating an ever-increasing volume of waste, the effectiveness of their solid waste collection and disposal systems often decline, whilst presenting a major challenge to city managers throughout the developing world. This situation simultaneously presents an opportunity for innovative responses towards development and green growth through introducing various waste management initiatives. One such initiative, a step on Ethiopia's path to sustainability, has begun at the Addis Ababa Municipality Landfill. The project to close and effectively manage the site will be assisted by the UNDP Ethiopia Country Office to develop an innovative project which leverages carbon market finance to benefit municipal solid waste management whilst reducing greenhouse gas emissions through the Clean Development Mechanism. The Clean Development Mechanism represents an instrument which can assist developing countries to transition to low emission, climate resilient pathways through innovative waste management and landfill practices. The Repi Solid Waste Disposal Site, located 13 kilometers southwest of Addis Ababa city center, was opened in 1968. Arto Nega, the city's municipal solid waste manager, has been working to see the closure of the landfill and introduction of sustainable management practices in conjunction with the carbon market CDM project at the site. This is um, uh, the landfill where the city of Addis Ababa is using to dump all the wastes, which is from uh, residential houses, from commercial institutions, uh, industries, uh, from streets, all the wastes collected coming to this landfill. So the amount of waste on average is 4,000 ton per day. The rapid population growth of 3.8% is resulting in a rise of approximately 5% of urban waste generation per year. The organic and chemical waste that goes to the landfill site not only pollutes the land and water in the close proximity to the area, it is also toxic to human health and contributes to global warming by producing methane. As part of a bigger step towards sustainable development and the green economy, Addis Ababa City Administration is now closing the Repi landfill site and will introduce measures for effective future management by covering it with a protective layer of clay and soil. They will also engineer a pond to collect waste leachate, a byproduct of waste decomposition. Methane emissions will be managed through a system of capturing and flaring the methane. This will reduce its many potential negative effects. 
once this landfill is totally closed, the people or the community living around will not have any more bad smell, odor, nausea, and even other, this uh, which is uh, the leachate coming from the landfill will not create any problem. So when all these problems are over, the people living around will have a good life, healthy life, and they will be happy. Azeb Gurma has experience working with the informal recyclers. She has explored the effect of living and working in these conditions and what the closure of the landfill will mean to them. One issue that has become major that the city has to consider is the community that are dependent on the, on the dump site for many years. Uh, These are two, three generations even who have lived here, who have made their livelihood from this uh, dump site, which are about 660 well-censored scavengers. Most of them are living in the communities around, but there are a few who are actually living on the dump site. So their livelihood is 100% dependent even as uh, far as their food consumption is from the dump site. It is a requirement that this community are rehabilitated when this dump site is uh, closed. So they are waiting, the study is done, an action plan is under underway now how to transform them into other livelihoods, but their requirement basically is for them uh, to be integrated in the new waste management system, in the new landfill and uh, in the process of the waste management system of the city. Yeah. The UNDP is committed to assisting achieve these multiple development goals by providing the necessary capacity assistance to the city of Addis Ababa and their quest to develop the country's first landfill gas capture and destruction project. Ethiopia has set itself a very bold, transformative uh, vision uh, framed around two major pillars. The first pillar is to become a middle-income country by the year 2025. And the second pillar is to become a carbon-neutral, climate-resilient economy, again by the year 2025. Now to pursue the second pillar, Ethiopia has moved on to develop the appropriate strategy, the strategic framework that will enable Ethiopia to achieve that vision. We are working with the government to operationalize the strategy, which revolves around essentially seven sectors, ranging from agriculture through energy to the development of green cities. Uh, we are very uh, excited about this partnership because we see the nexus between uh, having a, a carbon uh, uh, resilient green economy here in Ethiopia, the nexus between that and overall poverty reduction. The Kyoto Protocol's clean development mechanism represents an alternative to the traditional development assistance provided in Africa, although CDM investment has largely lagged behind in Africa. Of the 4,500 CDM projects registered globally, under 100 are registered in Africa. The majority of CDM projects have been registered in wealthier developing countries such as China, India and Brazil. Helping developing countries in Africa to benefit from carbon finance is one of the ways the United Nations Development Program can assist with both poverty alleviation and greenhouse gas mitigation. So the key thing in developing a CDM project for carbon credits is to accurately estimate the quantity of methane gas and CO2 which is contained within the landfill. And that is not as easy as you think because uh, calculating methane emissions from a landfill is notoriously difficult and many landfill projects around the world have overestimated the amount of methane they had and received considerably less carbon credits than they thought they would. However. One thing that you can do is you can look at the quantity of organic waste. This landfill has over a million tons of new waste deposited every year, 4,000 tons a day, and that means that the amount of methane is likely to be good. However, to be accurate, you really need to take uh, proper measurement. And to do that, you need to put in place the system of pipes and wells. So this here is a vertical pipe which goes into the landfill, and the vertical pipes are connected through a series of 
horizontal pipes and they are put all around the landfill, they capture the gas and they take it to a flare and at the flare the methane gas is destroyed and you thereby eliminate um, emissions that otherwise would be able to go into the atmosphere and you generate uh, carbon credits which can be sold on the international uh, carbon market. Uh, this project is its first of it in Ethiopia. UNDP is providing technical, financial and coordination support to the Addis Ababa City Administration in developing the CDM project. This is the closed part of the landfill. Currently, there is no capturing and flaring of methane gas from this site. Methane is a greenhouse gas, which is a byproduct of waste decomposition with 21 times more global warming potential than carbon dioxide. In other words, capturing one ton of methane considered as capturing 21 tons of carbon dioxide because of its high global warming potential. Post-closure management of the site, which includes covering the landfill and capturing and destroying methane emissions, will also ensure additional development benefits for those who currently live and work in the surrounding areas. City government and especially the municipality is committed to effect to implement this project, to construct the new landfill, to construct the three uh, transfer stations, and to close RAPI, and finally after the closure of RAPI landfill, it will become the green area, which will be used for recreation of the people of Addis Ababa. And the history will be changed from the dump, the garbage, from the garbage dump area, to the recreation area. The UNDP Ethiopia Country Office has provided technical and coordinated support to the development of the landfill gas project. By doing so, UNDP Ethiopia has successfully empowered the Addis Ababa City Administration to participate in the often complex clean development mechanism. This has connected Ethiopia with the wider carbon market and global efforts to combat climate change. This project is a UNDP MDG carbon facility project dealing with landfill gas. It's the first project of its kind in Ethiopia and it aims to access carbon finance, carbon credits as a tool to promote sustainable development under a mechanism which is called the Clean Development Mechanism. It's a mechanism whereby developing countries can receive additional revenues from carbon credits which would help them to implement projects that they wouldn't otherwise implement under a business as usual situation. In the case of Ethiopia, if you didn't have the carbon market, there would be no requirement for the city of Addis to implement this project and to flare and capture the methane emissions. So the carbon market is helping deliver revenues, additional revenues to the city administration that's allowing them to implement this project. And the project delivers three uh, benefits. It delivers environmental benefits, it delivers social benefits, and it delivers economic benefits. The environmental benefits are associated with the reduction of odor at the landfill and reduction of emissions. The social benefits are related to the jobs that are going to be provided for the people who are currently working on the landfill and for the school children and the school next to the landfill. And the, and, and the economic benefits are related to the additional revenue, which wouldn't happen. So it really is what could be called a triple win, good for the environment, good for the development, and good for uh, society. The Horn of Africa Regional Environmental Center is a research institution under the Addis Ababa University. Working in the field of environmental and sustainability, one of their main focuses is to improve the urban waste management strategy our involvement came in proper closure, closure of uh, this uh, landfill so that uh, the methane uh, here uh, is uh, properly captured. This type of project basically uh, are uh, not easy to find and that's why we have students will have hand-on experience getting proper landfill management because in the long run our idea is to make sure that all cities, over 100,000 people, will have landfill, proper landfill. An additional benefit of the project is engagement of students from Addis Ababa University, developing the local capacity of local people to undertake the tasks ahead. I am really delighted uh, to be involved in this project because this is a new experience, a new experience, so that we can share this experience uh, for the whole country of Ethiopia and as well as th uh, for the whole countries of Africa as well. Because this is uh, uh, very new in kind and also very dynamic for the future. University students 
are not the only students to benefit from the closure of the landfill. The children of Awuna Basilios are adversely affected by the landfill, often suffering nausea and even reported instances of fainting from the level of methane gas they are exposed to. The closure of the landfill and the destruction of methane gas will ensure the protection of the health of these students. Atul Nega is at the school today to explain the process of methane capture and flaring. Residents, business owners and those passing through near the site will also benefit from the reduction in smell and pests such as flies once the landfill has closed. The Environmental Protection Authority of Ethiopia is the designated national authority responsible to authorize and approve participation in CDM projects. The main task of the designated national authority is to assess potential CDM projects to determine whether they will assist Ethiopia in achieving its sustainable development goals. As Ethiopia has already set its vision to become a middle-income status country by 2025 based on a low-carbon development path, this project has its own contribution to the realization of the country's vision. It is also in line with the Ethiopia's climate resilient green economy strategy and the government's five-year growth and the transformation plan through its social, economic and environmental benefits among others. The, the carbon revenue to be obtained from the international market has enabled to implement this project in a sustainable way because of the various multifaceted benefits associated, associated with it, such as including the social, economic and environmental benefits. This closing ceremony of the Repu landfill is also the opening ceremony of the new landfill outside of the city. It represents a significant day for Addis Ababa and its move towards a green economy. It is also the day which the city celebrates its 125th anniversary, symbolizing new beginnings. As you see it, this part on the right side is part of the landfill which is closed, and this on the left side is still operating, it's still active, not closed. We are planning to close it soon, as much as possible, maybe maximum the next two years, everything will be closed. and when everything is closed, we will have a recycling center up there, about four to seven hectares, for recovering solid waste materials into, useful, uh, into, into useful items. One step in a long path to climate change mitigation and green growth, the Repi CDM project represents a shining example of triple wins for sustainability, achieving multiple economic, environmental and social benefits. As such, UNDP Ethiopia believes there is potential for replication of these projects throughout Ethiopia and the world's least developed countries. What we have done as an institution is to really build the capacity of the city administration for sustainable waste management. But beyond that, we have really worked with the city administration to bring the city administration and this particular project to the opportunities that carbon trading. The whole idea, motivation for this support is around sustainable development. It's really about the triple wins, you know, when it comes to sustainable development. Making investments that have economic benefits, making investments, you know, that have social benefits, and certainly making investments that indeed have environmental benefits, not just for Ethiopia, not just for Addis Ababa, but for the world as a whole. Whilst many challenges lie ahead, this project demonstrates how challenges may become opportunities if the right mix of capacity development incentives and participants are involved. Such projects addressing the issue of climate change mitigation, vulnerability and poverty reduction bring us a step closer to achieving the Millennium Development Goals and curbing global warming. One step at a time, we can make a world of change empowering lives and creating resilient nations.